Well, Francisco Lindor coming off a tremendous season a year ago, not just a 30-30 guy. He was a 30-30-30 guy. Homers, stolen bases, 33 doubles on the year. Gary, back alongside Todd. Francisco Lindor is with us. Those were tremendous numbers you put up a season ago. I wonder, as you come to camp, do you have goals that you set for yourself? 100%. Yeah. 100%. My goals are higher than anybody else's. Like, whatever expectation people have, my, my goals are higher, you know? So, um, as, as an athlete, you got to have goals, you know? And, and the goals are something that you, you strive for, but um, you don't really pay attention to them throughout the year as much. You know, one of the things we spoke about getting ready for last season was the uh, banning of the shift. And I know you were super excited about mm -hmm. that. It was going to give you the ability to make the sort of plays that we've come to expect from you. Did that live up to the billing? And how much does that continue to excite you? I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I think it was a great year um, for, for the really good defenders out there. Um, like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And... It's one of those I continue to 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 look forward to to it because you, every year you're gonna get better. You know, you're gonna get better. You're gonna see more athletes. You're gonna see better shortstops out there, and that can only help me to elevate my game. Mm. Hey, speaking of great defenders, you being one of them and also a veteran here in camp, I know some of the guys have said that you've had an opportunity to work with them. Brett Beatty being one of those young guys mm -hmm. um, that credits you for helping him defensively. What kind of things? Do you try to teach the young guys, especially in, with somebody like Beatty especially, what do you think his game can elevate to as a third baseman? Well, his ceiling is so high um, that God knows where he can get to. Mm. You know, it, it's, it's one of those where he's got every two out there to become one of the better third basemen in the game. Wow. Um, with that being said, the whole process of the offseason with him and Biento, Biento has a high ceiling as well. Um, it's just pay attention to little details. Let's just focus on what we're going to do, and let's stay with that. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to do an hour, two hours, three hours, whatever we do, we're going to focus on that, and we're going to pay attention to that, and that's it. And then tomorrow we'll come back, and we'll do something different, and we'll pay attention to that and just stay on it, you know, not just going back and forth between thoughts, because that's usually what happens. You, you're playing defense. You start thinking about... You have bat, then all of a sudden something happens in the stands, you look at the stands, yeah. then all of a sudden you find the ball, and then it's just too many thoughts, and you got to control your thoughts. As we wrap this up, we spent a lot of time on our show today discussing the news that Kodai Senga is going to begin the year on the IL. I just wonder, news like that, how it reverberates through the clubhouse. Um, I talked to him, uh, and, you know, he's obviously not happy, but um, he's going to be okay. He's going to, you know, it's one of those things that um, I obviously don't know the magnitude of it, but the way he works, the way he takes care of himself, and the way he, he how professional he is, he, he'll bounce back, and he'll be back with us at some point helping us win.